Plato comes to mind first. I did, I wrote a honors thesis uh, on Plato's Symposium, and of course he incorporates natural philosophy, ethics, and aesthetics all in one. But in, on the Roman sphere, I think Ovid, surprisingly enough, is someone that comes to mind, particularly his elegiac works, where he, especially in the Ars Amatoria, which is an, a text I've, I've worked on quite a bit, he is parodying Hellenistic didactic poetry, both the didactic poetry and the genre of the Georgics that was attempting to talk about natural philosophy in some kind of universalizing context. Um, and he's also parodying Hellenistic love manuals. And so he is self-conscious about the, the natural philosophical implications uh, of his subject matter um, in that the Ars Amatoria is obsessed with talking about the entire world. The entire world fits into Rome, um, the ambitious young male should go across the entire world if he must to find the right women, but he really doesn't have to because all of the world is represented in Rome. And the Rome is a cosmopolitan city. We, we, we have all the best parts of the world assimilated into us. And in the third book, when he's talking about the, the makeup for women, the cosmetics for women, he's very keen on the ambivalent meaning of mundus as both cosmetics uh, the, 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 the munditia, the, the, the apparel and the, the toilet, as it were, of women, um, and the, the meaning of that also used by natural philosophers for world and cosmos. And so he, he cheekily combines the natural with the cultural uh, in, in a way that, that brings out this polyvalence that other authors such as Virgil play with more implicitly. It really does. Um, we can look out into Washington Square Park and be reminded that this city is similarly ambitious uh, and recognized around the world as a world capital. And I think it's an interesting concept that we think about the world in that context as something that can be captured in the confines of a city where, for me, having grown up in a rural part of the United States, I often don't see enough of the world in the urban jungle that, that is New York. And I think the Romans were aware of that irony. I think you see it in elegy uh, with this distinction between the center of Rome and the periphery of the Rus and the desire to go to the Rus but also suffering from the, 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 all the things it doesn't offer you, all the comforts that you lack. But they, they still see the world in Rome and, and, and try to, to tease out its implications in various ways.